Sam, it's okay if I pick one up. So look at where they begin. Because it's a social animal, they interact with each other. You see, it's really better for us, the viewer. Mm. That's what's really special about the Haldagra. What are people looking for when they get any tortoise? Why don't you take us through that? You want to see nice, bright eyes. You've got to also pay attention to their back legs. This is the biggest thing with giant tortoises. You push their head back and you watch inside there to see if there's any wetness coming out of their nose or slime coming out of their mouth. If it's just clear and it's water, right. that's okay. Look at how gorgeous they are. I, it just takes me back to when Nostradamus was a little guy. They should always feel heavier yes. than they look. Look at that stool. Wow, that's a nice poop, guys. You know you're a turtle lover when you, yeah, when, when, when you get excited. Yeah, when the excites you, right? we, we got a lot of good information out here. Oh Whoa. my gosh. This is awesome, Sam. Take, look at this enclosure. Take, look at this, guys. Can you believe this? What's happening? I'm over here at Florida Iguana and Tortoise Breeders. My buddy Sam Piscucci and I catching up. And we've got a fun video today because uh, we're getting my buddy Jerry, right. his very first. Actually, it's going to be his mom's, but don't tell her. Don't tell her. Uh, okay. But we're getting her her very first giant tortoise. She fell in love with Darwin right. and Nostradamus and right. saw the videos we've done here. Right, sure. So he's been gracious enough to help us out. We're going to pick one out. This is where you go to get beautiful uh, Aldabra babies. So let's start looking. What do you have in mind for us? I know you have one picked out for us, right? Uh, no, or, or group. no, no. You, yeah, you wanted to... You're looking for a six inch double skew. Yes. Okay. Exactly. So we're going to let you pick one out. No way. This yeah. is so cool, guys. We um, got Mario here. Hey, what's up, Mario? Say what's up. Fine. Mario, he he's the next generation coming up he working sure, here. He sure is. Do you like working here? I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. All right, man. Well, of course, he's going to say that with the boss, with the boss right here. But no, that's cool, man. Very cool. When I came in, Mario was uh, grabbing hay for these animals. and. All right, man. Show me where, where okay. were you looking. Okay. So, uh, Mario, what do we got here for... Uh, Six inch. We're going to the master list here. Look at that. He's got a list and everything dialed in. Ah. We're looking for six inch. So then we have six inch double skew. There was a nice group of. So rad, man. There's so many um, really cool. Um, he keeps so many records because he has so many of these little babies coming in. Uh, look at how nice and protected they are. Okay. Look at how they start. Sam, it's okay if I pick one up. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. So look at where they begin. These are not quite hatchling they're just probably a half a year from hatchling but when i got nostradamus guys nostradamus was this big and as they're they're little like this okay these little ones um they're very skittish you can kind of see how they walk around uh they're real nervous but as they get older in my opinion they become just amazing uh just habituated to you they rely on you right sam what do you they, they recognize you oh absolutely yeah. and everyone has their individual personality that's right everyone re uh, reacts to you differently you yeah. know? so it's really it's really neat to see you can yeah. even in the young ones you know you'll see that individual personality and that's what one of the things i always say about all the average that's cool is is that uh, you know because it's a social animal they interact with each other so you, you know you see a lot more going on they'll follow each other around yeah. they don't like getting separated they go over there and kiss each other and they yeah. smell their their noses and so stuff many like people all the time you get this i'm sure all the time should i buy one or two yeah and and you know with me when people ask me that i say listen it's really up to you however um i always find getting two at the same time is better Right. Because now you're raising two that are growing at the same rate. Yeah. They know each other. They've come up together for a long time. Do you right. find that to be the case? Yeah, I, you know, you can add another one as long as the size is right. A lot of people come and they buy one and then they add one a year later, and then a year later they add an, another one. The only problem is that if you buy a four inch say, you know, next year you're adding a six inch, and the year after that, you know, yeah. you're adding a nine or a ten inch. So it might cost you a little bit more. Gotcha. But. Um, you know, nonetheless, the thing is, is that it's food competition. There's, it creates activity amongst the tortoises and everything. So, you know, a lot of people do it because they think that, you know, the animals enjoy it. But there's a part that they're missing is that, you see, it's really better for us, the viewer, to see that interaction. Mm. That's what's really special about the Aldaris. That's what I really like. Cool. Is seeing that. So we got we got some animals picked out here, Mary. We have 227. I'm looking for 223. Okay. But here we have 227. Oh, wow. This uh, double skew. Let's More see. like an extra oh, yeah. skew. Yeah, that's, I mean, again, you know, this is not anything wrong with the animal. No, it's as, just cosmetic. It's just cosmetic. And so many people these days really like having a unique animal. 
Um, identification purpose. Exactly right, but that shell's beautiful. So Sam, you know what? I know how to, to purchase a tortoise, and I also know that every one of these tortoises is in impeccable shape. But right. what are people looking for when they get any tortoise? Why don't you take us through that and teach my viewers a little bit about what to look for with these particular species? Um, okay, if you're talking about in, in terms of health, you know, you, health, you wanna see, you wanna see nice bright eyes. And this guy's not gonna stick his head out right now because we've messed with him a little bit. But you know, uh, they're, they're active, just like you had mentioned before. Right. You see they're active, you wanna make sure that they're eating, you wanna make sure that their stool looks good. So. You know, I'm big on doing a lot of that preventive maintenance where, you know, you you, you make a, uh, uh, you start a relationship with a vet and you take him those stool samples and stuff like that. Right. That way, you know, every so often you can, you know, can worm your tortoises, which depending on your size collection, should be a routine thing that and you there's do. there's his eyes. His eyes look nice and bright. He's got yeah. some sand around him, you'll, but that's fine. You'll see that when they eat, you'll see the nice bright yep. red mouth, nice pink, nice pink mouth and everything. And, uh, you know, uh, you've got to also pay attention to their back legs. This is the biggest thing with giant tortoises is the back legs because because of the speed that these guys really grow uh, and they can put on 10 grams a day. Wow. A day? That's amazing. Yeah. A day. So as they get bigger, if they don't have, you know, a lot of room to walk around, they don't have some topography, they're not an active animal because you have them too much in the shade or you have them... Uh, you know, not set up properly, then what happens is their weight increases and their legs can't support the weight and the legs start to do this. They start to splay out. Gotcha. So it's bad that, posture. Yeah, that's what happens. And so those bones, they get misformed and it's, it, you can, you can improve it depending on the, on the, the age of the animal. I've done it before, but you know, you obviously don't want to start out that way because as these animals get older, that problem is just going to get magnified. Exactly. You know, okay. so you want to make sure that the males are able to climb on top of the females to breed. You want to be, make sure that the females can support the males properly otherwise with that splayed leg condition you could end up with a lot of sore legs and stuff like that gotcha so okay. you know you watch their gait and you know you can't see their gait here you've got to put them on a flat surface and you're going to watch their gait you're going to watch the way they walk those legs should come out and go underneath and they should land flat on the ground and another thing in older tortoises that you can see is you can actually look at the bottoms of their feet and the bottoms of their feet and the lengths of their nails will tell you by the wear pattern how they're actually putting that foot down. Yep. So if you have an older tortoise and you're thinking about buying it and you want to know what kind of condition it's in, you know, you would watch for the wear pattern. Actually, this is hard to see here because he's muddy, but you get the idea, you know, yep. all of his nails there are the same length and I can see that he's not putting that foot down uh, on, improperly. On just improperly, like on the side or something. It's like literally that. like the tires on a vehicle. Exactly. If, if, if you let them wear down uh, on one side, you don't get the, the proper ride down right. the road. Right. And, uh, exactly. you know, they're not as efficient at moving. Right. So that makes a lot of sense. What do you got, Mario? You got another we one here? 223. Okay. He's also a double skew. Oh, I like that. Wow, that's kind of cool. It's a little bit more, you know, uniform. It's more a double scoop, yeah. but yeah. Um, yeah, and this is actually, it's actually raised a little bit there. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. Um, look at how gorgeous they are. I, it just takes me back to when Nostradamus was a little guy um, in 2004. August of 2004, I got Nostradamus, and what a gorgeous animal, man. They just grow perfectly. And look yep. at the shells. Uh, these are well-started babies, uh, well-started juveniles, I'd yeah, say. six months. This guy's oh, wow. probably about seven or seven and a half months old. This is incredible. But again, now, you know, look at the difference between these two tortoises. If you happen to notice, that other tortoise was quite a bit shyer than this tortoise. Right. You see this tortoise here, and you yeah. see the way that he's uh, he's reacting. He's got his head out. He didn't he didn't lock up like that other one did. Yeah. You know, this guy's got his head out, and and so, you know, look, they're all they're like you said before, they're babies. They're all going to react a certain way, uh, defensively. But you know, they'll come out of it quicker, and they're they're much more. The type of tortoise that will eventually grow and you can sit there and feed them and yeah. eat from your hand and stuff they love like that. good scratches so that's yeah. the reason that i make the videos that i make you know a lot of people like those videos I, I i just like you i tell it exactly the way it is i give a description i describe if they're shy if they're not shy yeah you know whatever whatever that particular attribute and there are a lot of different attributes we have some that actually have green eyes and then we have different all these different shell shapes that uh, that we document that way you know, as you collect, sometimes people get eight, nine, ten animals. They want some that are really dome, and then they want some that are long, and then they want some that are like this. So, so funny. it's neat when you when you take the time to look at their their uh, their shells. But anyway, that's the idea about what I do on my website. When you go there, you get a picture, you get a little video, 
And then we also do videos where we, where we every uh, every month or so, we go around, we call it a flyby. And we just go around, we follow them around, and they're yeah. meeting everything. They get a chance to see them walking Yeah, you around. guys have a great Instagram page. Uh, it's Florida Iguana and Tortoise Breeders. Um, Tort Florida Iguana Tort Breeders. Oh, Tort Breeders, okay. On, on Instagram. On Instagram, all right. Let's just show him, I want to show him a couple of those shell shakes. I think it's 203 and 202 or 204. Well, I like 223 also, so we're going to keep an eye on that one. But let's keep moving. Again, oh, wow, yeah, you're right. So here we have 204. This is a perfect, and he has no nickel skew, too. So. Oh, so again, that's funny. Another another attribute, you know, yeah. uh, a feature. Or, you know, see, here we have one that doesn't have an, a nuka scoot. Some people like to get that. It's not that many that don't have Well, and scoot. that's one, that's usually one of the ways you would identify an Aldaba exactly. through, from a Galop. Exactly. And I actually have a video that I go quite in depth at showing people uh, how to identify Galops and Aldaba by the facial features and yes. everything. But hey, look, give this guy a feel. Feel this guy here. Oh, yeah. They should always feel heavier yes, than they very, look. Yeah. So this is a very beautiful, solid animal. That's another way to know you have a healthy tortoise. Yeah. Just the weight. I mean, this is about a good, I don't want to say three pounds almost. Two, yeah. two and a half. Yeah. Three pounds, I think. Maybe even more. Yeah. I mean, that's incredible. Well, he's, he's two kilograms. So, so that's, what that's is that? five pounds. Oh, five pounds. Yeah, see, yeah. there you go. It feels like it. Yeah. I mean, my skinny arms are flexing right now. You yeah. got it? Yeah. All right, now here's okay. a different shape. Look now, at the, look different, at the shape. different shape between those two animals. Yeah. This one has got a, on the left side, it's got a nice high dome. Okay. And this turtle, tortoise here is got is much longer on the top. Yeah. He Let's looks like it. a bus to me. Yeah. You know? That so, is so cool. That's some of the, the fun when you have collecting, you get some of those different shapes and stuff like that. Right. Well, you know, and if you look down here, you can see this one here. Look how, how round and big and round that guy is. Yes. And this guy here, you can see he actually oblong. has a little peak. Yeah, he's yeah. oblong and actually has a little peak. There. That's really cool. And they're getting quite heavy. But Go see, ahead. From, from the time that they're... Got it. From the time that they're small, look how different they're acting here at this Unreal. age. Unreal, yes. You know, you can, see a, you can see a behavioral difference already in them, you know. Yep. Because they've been here with me for longer, you know, they're, they're, they're much more conditioned, used to us coming around and feeding them and stuff like that. But he, this, is, this guy's not scared, so this is a great tortoise, and you got that, you got that, you know, he's got great eyes, there's nothing coming out of his nose. One of the things you do is you push their nose, you push their head back, and you watch inside there to see if there's any wetness coming out of their nose cool. or slime coming out of their mouth. That's important, but you got to remember that in Aldabras, you have to be a little bit careful because since they drink water through their nose... If you do it after they've drank water, yeah. of course you're going to get water out of their nose. Right, but it's clear. It's yeah. not a viscous, yes, you know, you don't right. want a mucousy, right. viscous uh, discharge. Right. Right. If it's just clear and it's water, right. that's okay. Same right. thing with their eyes, correct? You want yeah. a nice clear tears, yeah. not, uh, not thick. Yeah, are what they're called crying tortoises because they're always having a little bit of that, that runny eye and it helps protect against sand and grit and mosquitoes and stuff like that. And you see it in the Galapagos as well, but in the Galapagos you see that white foamy eye. Yes. Right, because they have a different viscosity of that of that fluid that comes out. That's all that's happening there. That's so cool. So another thing, you know, you want a nice hard shell, right? right? Hard shell is good. Yep. Now, Aldabra's giant tortoises are known for having. Look how soft that is. That's they can see it move, right? Yeah. That's because because they grow so fast. They, the shell has to be able to move with the growth. It's like it's like a baby's head. You know, it, it has to stay malleable while it's growing and everything. So, you know, people sometimes will turn them over and they they freak out. Look at that stool. Wow, that's a nice poop, guys. That's right? great. Now you're talking about, you know, one of the ways you tell. That's a nice stool. Yeah, because it's it's, it's all, all solid. solid. That's the yeah. way that's the way the stool is supposed to look. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if he had a watery stool right now because that could change because a lot you're of rain. stressing him right now. Oh, okay. So sometimes if you first pick him up, you'll get a stress stool. That doesn't mean that he's sick and everything. So sometimes when people are unwrapping, but this is nice. You just put them down. I can't even. Wow, that is a nice turd, man. Yeah. You know you're a turtle lover when yeah, when, 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 when you those get excited. Stools excite you, yes, right? it's so good. Look at that turtle. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Um, so that's well formed, like you said. It's, it maintains its consistency. Right. Um, and you know they're a spectacular animal in that they eat such low nutrient dense food, right. but they keep it in their digestive tracts for such a long, such a long time, time yeah, that it pulls as much out as right. possible. There's they're, a machine that's made to eat lots of non nutritious food. Yeah. Really, yeah. and that's know. why we have to be careful exactly when we feed them in captivity, right? Because we can kind of make them overweight quickly, yeah. We can make them overweight, you know. Also, uh, you know, that, that you know, they're having the proper movement of their gut also helps control parasites and worms. These animals 
living outside and everything and you know the possibility of picking up parasites and everything is great for these animals that's why I really recommend people have a protocol for treating their animals the bigger your collection is the more protocol you need to ensure that those animals are healthy right. because if you have a population and you have three tortoises nothing ever changes nothing comes nothing goes you know you're, you're probably all right you know you wouldn't have to think about you're probably going to get parasites but if you have a larger collecting and you're adding more your big collection you're adding more animals to that collection you really should be on a six month or a yearly routine where you're where you're watching those animals because the reason I'm, I'm just paying so much attention to it is because you know i help a lot spend a lot of time helping people me included Darwin was in trouble. I called. About, I called Sam. <laughs> about two hours a day, um, yeah. I spend helping people out. So I really see what the problems are, and you wouldn't believe the problems that people have with parasites mm. in in tortoises. Gotcha. That and dog attacks, raccoon attacks, believe overheating me. in the temperature. They don't compensate for when the sun moves, and now all of a sudden there's no shade, and the animals overheat. Some of the biggest reasons people lose tortoises. Unbelievable. Yeah. But here again, you can just walk yeah, along that's, there. That's another great look at this. That came out of the same tortoise beautiful formed stool that's what you're looking for folks but yeah look at these guys are beautiful i love it yeah look at how big how big and round that guy is that's it it's just in it you know again when you work with the species as much as you do or any reptile you start to realize that you know when you back up they all look the same but when you spend time with right. them they all have right. like you said personalities right. different scoots different shell shapes right. um so it's kind of like how they you know how, how people will say about, oh, uh, all, all these people look alike, or all, you know, it's it's not true. You just right. got to get to know right. people. You got to get to know. Right. You have uh, to take the time to understand. Understand, right? exactly. And so. it's the same thing with their behavior and understanding what they're doing. It's not a very animated creature. So you have to understand their body language, and believe me, they have body language. Yes. I can tell by the way they move their head and the way they look and the way they walk a little bit exactly what's going on. I know they're triggering on food. I know they don't feel good. So, you know, pay attention to your torches. It's really a lot of fun, and you, and you learn a lot. Too. All right. Definitely, man. We, we got a lot of good information out here. What do you say we grab? Is that the is that one of the yeah. ones that I'm able to grab? The, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That Where did it go? What number was it? 223. 223. Okay, Mario's going to get it. We're going to pull that off. Here's 223 right here. Here it is. Look at this beauty. So this this little one's going to a new home, man. This is going to be really cool. So what we're going to do is, I guess, Mario, would you mind boxing this up for me? For sure. Definitely. Thank you so much. I'd like to show, uh, I'd like to show everybody um, just what they grow into. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be interesting. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think what we can do, what would be interesting is, uh, you know, here we have, this, we'll start right here. Here we have these little guys in here are six months old. So okay. these little tiny guys, maybe under here there's a couple. All right. Yeah, oh gosh, there's a couple. Yeah, there. there's a couple there. Look at how they scurry. They're okay, cute. look at this little guy, 243. Look how tiny he is, yeah. look how tiny he is. Oh my God. Uh, it's like been... six months old. Phew. And, and, and you know, he's he's just about four inches and everything's cute, as cute as anything, aren't they? Right, right. Okay, so. Watch this little one, all right, there you go. So now we come over here. What do we got now? This this tortoise here, 200. I think he's about. I can actually tell you exactly what he's probably eight or nine inches there. So he is. Uh, you know they'll grow about um, five inches the first year, four to five inches. So wow. He, the, at nine and at um, in, in a year from now, he he will be nine and a half inches. Incredible. That four inch that we just looked at. So he'll be this size here in a year. Which is that's a year and a half of their life. Wow! Right, you've had them for a year because you bought them when they were six months, but this right. guy's a year and a half old. That's incredible. Yeah. So you forget you don't think of a tortoise growing quickly. Yeah. But that's interesting because you know where they're from. Um, I know that they spend. I've read a really good book by Brad Gerlach, um, Giant Tortoises of the Seychelles, yeah, and so yeah, on. Yeah. Great. And book. it goes into goes into the extinct uh, species yes. of giant tortoise. But anyway. These animals, when they're young, spend their time in these crevices yeah. of the coral. Right. And why do you think that is? Well, they don't get eaten. They don't get eaten and they don't get smashed by the adults. Yeah. They're so big, the adults, so they they're live in this micro them. habitat. Yes. Uh, for the like first a lot, like a lot of animals. Right. They they you know most tortoises are very secretive when they're very young. Right. You don't see them. They find an area, they find food, they find water, and they are amazing at growing quickly right with the worst food possible it's yeah. incredible and, and the other interesting thing as you mentioned earlier is they can the because it's a coral uh you know limestone um topography 
Uh, and there's not a lot of like permanent bodies of water. So what happens is they get fresh water, they can drink it through their nose through these little kind crevices, of crevices. Yeah. yeah. And that's why they have a more pointy nose than yeah. like a lot. Yeah, sure. It's pretty interesting stuff, yeah, Sam. Anyway, definitely, definitely just uh, really cool how how you're taking us through this. This is like almost the, the complete biology of the little <laughs> aldabras here, but it's amazing. So now let me show you guys, if you have not been on one of my visits to Sam's place, hey pup, if you've not been to I'm Sam's place before. Way, so we oh, we're gonna, to cool. Sizes, I, think that's I love it. Yeah, we're going a long way to see all the different sizes. So it's basically from, from six months old to, you know, big boy and girl. Oh, and look at this. We just happen to have a glop here. This is uh, this is Bernie. You've seen him before. Yep. Beauty. Hey, buddy. This I Bernie. raised him from a hatchling. He's 35 years old. That's a 35-year-old tortoise. You would think that he's a couple hundred. But look at the face on this guy. And here's that white, foamy discharge from the eyes that Sam was talking about that right. you'll see in the galops. But again, the face of this guy, much more block-like, in my opinion. Um, you know, he's got way more angular side, vertical sides of the face flat and a flat, the yeah. And the nose doesn't roll off, it's not right. round. Cool, but look at that, 35 years old, no nuchal scoop right there, see that? That's how you normally identify the Galapagos tortoise, because there's no nuchal scoot. But uh, You're yeah. better off looking at the head. The head is the, yeah. the, head is the dead giveaway. Yeah. Cool, guys. All right, let's go see some Aldabras. Okay, so over here, I have some of these holdbacks that I've been Oh growing. my gosh. This is awesome, Sam. Take, look at this enclosure. Take, Take a look at some of these guys here. Wow. Look at this guy. Here. Oh yeah. This is about the age uh, when they're they're comfortable in themselves. They're big enough. Yeah. They they really don't they start acting like an adult. Yes. You know? Look at this just shame. Laid out there. Yay! Sunbathing, trying to get yeah. some radiation, solar radiation there, a little heat. Yeah. Um, but look at how curious he is. Just, gosh, you see how that nose rolls off? Right. Okay. That's so, so he could fit that in and slurp it up through his nose. He these can guys get a drink. are about 14 inches, which uh, is going to put them, let's see, at six months. Oh. They're at four inches, they're six months, right? Yeah. So then in another year, we put on another four or five inches, so then they're nine. So this guy is another year past that, so he's two and a half, three here. Wow. Two, two and, and a half, half, three years old. Two and a half years old. That's this awesome. This is what you end up with when you start making the collection. And you can see I've gone through and I've I picked some different shell shapes. Look at the, look at the growth on that guy. Yeah, the, the, he's uh, talking about here, the annuli. Uh, these are growth rings, and so the lighter growth is new growth, and then it continues. And it's not like a tree; you can't count the rings, otherwise this would be over 100 years old. But they'll throw up more than one of these growth rings a year, depending upon how much they're getting fed and what kind of conditions they're living in. But that is awesome. You can see right there, that's yeah, really nice growth. You stand up if you scratch them. Oh yeah, let's see. They can feel through their shells also, guys. Look at that. Oh yeah, they can actually feel. The shell is a living part of their body. And this one also has an extra scoot. Yeah. But that doesn't mean anything to me. Doesn't mean though. anything to me also. You I know, mean, I see a lot of times I'll pick them because I'll pick for behavior. I'll right. I'll pick for personality. Look at this. You know? Look at this. I wonder, I don't know. Oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. Can you believe this? At this size is allowing me to give the neck scratch just like Nostradamus. Right. That's because these animals here are just looked after by, by uh, you know, Sam and Mario here. And there's always someone here and your wife's always out here with always them. Always somebody here. My yeah. two daughters work the farm and I have three employees. So there's about six of us here. Yeah, and that's Probably. what you want. You want animals that are cared for, okay? This is not like a puppy mill operation. This is, all these animals are cared for. Look, he's letting me touch his legs. Yeah. That's what you're paying for. You know, you're, you're paying for the care that goes into these animals. And also the, you know, cause you said these are holdbacks. Look at this, are you kidding me? Makes me want to get another one. I know. It really does. Captivating. They are. See, one of the other things that I do, people say to me, oh, they don't like, some people complain they don't like when I ride on them. That's a very important part of us, part for us, because each one is identified. I know exactly how much they weigh. I know how fast they're growing and everything. Yeah. When tortoises get sick and they start to lose weight, you don't really see it because that well because you know you're looking at the shell which still looks just as big. Right. So, you know they can be sick for months before I've seen people actually recognize that they were sick. So I'll get on the phone with somebody and I'll say, "Do you have your records?" You know, 
No, no, they didn't keep their records because they would have seen right away because, you know, at one point he was 3,000 grams, now he's 2,000 grams. Well, 1,000 grams went before you even noticed that something was And that's was critical. Wrong. And it's that it's critical. critical to get on these animals right. before a problem arises or when, as soon as you notice something odd. And I always say, mobility number one, how they're behaving. If you don't Eating. spend the time, right, if you don't spend the time with your animals, you're never going to know their little idiosyncrasies. Yeah. And it's so important. That was... What an experience. I mean, yeah, and I've done this every day I with know, giant it tortoises. Never gets old. It doesn't, man. They are constantly rewarding you. Yeah. Um, it really does make me, oh gosh, I think I want another Aldabra. They're my favorite. Uh, out of the big yeah, tortoises, I do like the Aldabra. They, they are. So this has just been fantastic. Let's see let's, some adults. Let's go see some more. Yeah. Well, no, oh, not quite yet. Not quite yet. All right. We won't rush it, man. Let's just take this trip. You guys having fun? Let me know in the comments below if you guys are enjoying this video with Sam. Uh, I know a lot of you appreciate when I come to Sam's place and maybe some of my new friends that have joined up on YouTube and Facebook. Maybe you guys have not seen Sam yet. So Sam and I met years ago. Uh, we became fast friends because we have a very similar attitude towards the animals. It's about providing the best care and giving them, uh, you know, as much enrichment as you can provide and then just enjoying the animals. All right, here we go. Oh man, this is like Nostradamus size. Yeah, well, this is a Galop. That's a Galop. Yeah, she just happens to be in his pen temporarily. No worries. But maybe you can get her out. Look at her. She's having a mud bath. She looks so cool though yeah. in the mud. Yeah. Oh, hey girl. Oh, they love it. Yeah, a little scratchy scratch. And they love laying in the mud because it's it can be cool and it also protects them against getting bit by mosquitoes, I've yep. noticed. They love being in the mud because yep. it's this layer that the mosquito can't get through. Right, keeps them cool. They know yep. exactly what they're doing. You can you can you can fill these holes in, you shouldn't. And, and they just go find another spot to dig them. Yeah. They're very good at digging. They, yeah. they actually start to work themselves to spin like a top and, and so ex cool. excavate that. Yeah, that's so cool. Beautiful, beautiful animal. So this animal is uh, 28 inches, female, and she's about 17 years old. Wow. You know, I got a male. That's, oh my gosh. They don't breed until about 200 pounds or so, or um, even more, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, actually, um, I... I, uh, I've seen them breed, even the females are 165, 200 wow. pounds, don't have to be that big. 30 inches, typically I think about 30 inches, okay. you know. That's um, amazing. That would that would hurt my pocketbook, folks. Yeah. That would hurt it. Yeah, like, she's, that's from beautiful. Mauritius too, so. she's from Mauritius, too. Mm -hmm. She's wow. from Mauritius. She's from Mauritius, too. And, and if you're talking about breeding tortoises, that's a big difference that you have to realize, as you see. For that to be an 18-year-old animal, if that was raised here in the United States, it would be much bigger. Okay. Because we feed a much richer diet, and so the animals here grow much faster. But it doesn't make them necessarily good breeders because they're young. So, uh, you know, I, I've had tortoises that were 10 years old that were bigger than her. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, if you bought that tortoise with the idea you were going to breed that animal, it, it isn't happening at 10 years old. Gotcha. So there's why there's such a market for the the, uh, the sub adults and the adults that come in from the riches because it's those animals that we've seen produce wow. very quickly. Even yeah. you know I've, I've sold them and then 18 months later the guys were hatching Eldabras. That's incredible. You know. Yeah, that's incredible. So uh, really cool. Just the different yeah, sizes. Yeah, another one here. Again, it's another 28 inch animal. And look at the shell shape difference. See yeah. The shell? Yeah, See? she's more oblong. Right. She's skinnier there. Yep. But then this one has more of a wider shell. Right. And that's just, hey, everyone's different, man. Right. Before my hair started falling out, it was blonde. <laughs> I have brothers with dark hair and they kept their hair. I'm really angry about that. Anyway, uh, it's amazing. I just love the variety in these yeah. animals. And, uh, you know, you really get, um, you really get such a rewarding experience with raising yeah, them. Yeah, well. it really is. Yeah. Um, All right, where are you taking me now, buddy? We got some iguanas. There's always something to see here. Oh. <laughs> Pink rhino. Jeez. And those are beautiful figgins eye iguanas are awesome. Baker eye. Wow, look at this Centinosaur. So cool. Everybody you can knows. see why we're, we're friends, right? He loves tortoises and lizards. Everybody knows Adolf. There's Adolf. Adolf four years old, Galapagos tortoise. Hey, buddy, it's been a while. Look at him watching us. He, yeah. he not, he's looking at us. Yeah. He knows what's going on. All right. 
Oh so, my gosh, look at these. Oh, that's now, amazing. I've raised these three animals from hatchlings as well. No way. Yeah, these animals are raised from hatchlings. God, Sam, what an accomplishment to go from the smallest creature to such a mass. I mean, this is... 565 pounds. This what? is tank. Tank? And check this out real quick. Okay, what do you got? What do you got? Look, at, look. you see he had his head in his, right next to his, laying right next yeah, in his... Yeah. You see how close almost, they're laying together? Yeah. We disturbed them a little bit. They were laying, that's because they're friends. They're, they're laying right next to each other. They want to be close to each and other. And they're secure they're with each other. They're all here by accident. They're all here because they know exactly what they're doing. Yeah. So, uh, this. this is Cecil. Check this guy out. Hey, Cecil. Come on. Oh Get those God. hydraulics going, Cecil. Yeah, I always say that too. Hit them switches, Cecil. There he goes. Oh, you got your head stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Huh. He'll pull it out. Come on. There you go. Oh my gosh. Massive, massive animals. And you know, you got to watch out at this size. If they step on your foot, you're going to oh, feel it. Step on your foot or ram you against a fence or a post. Yeah, you got to be careful. You're, you're in trouble there. Gorgeous. Let's check Oliver out over here. Here's Oliver. Again, his face, real long. Right. Take a look at this. Take a look at this tortoise from the back here. Yeah. Well, he's an imperfect. He's oh no, skew. he's imperfect, guys. Oh, would he's got you a split skew? Well, we got to get him out of the collection. You should yep. just send him to my house. Look how big and long he is. He now is. he he is, he's uh, 30, 34 years old. So wow. you talk about what will you have in thirty four years? He's thirty three and he's thirty two. That's incredible. So you want to start young. <laughs> you want to start young with these tortoises. Yeah, you, you have to, there's an art to moving them around. Yeah, that is incredible. Come and on. how'd you get the job here, Mario? Um, I've been here for about five years. I, I reached out to Sam through a, a nag and I've been here ever since. No <laughs> doubt. That's so cool. I know a lot of people would be like, how can I get this job? You know, um, there you go. Just keep your eyes peeled and classified. You never know what you're going to find. And what a great way to learn. Sam's been doing this for how many years now, Sam? Oh, he's got to be careful. Yeah, <laughs> just get in that spot. How many years, Sam? Uh, since uh, 84. There you go, guys. 1984. He's been working with giant tortoises. Um, so it shows. All his animals are doing great. Um, we'll do another video with Sam for sure, guys. Uh, Sam's always helped me out with any of my animals that get sick because when you do this, Many, many times back in the 80s and 90s, there weren't a lot of vets that actually knew how to care for these animals. Yes. So basically, Sam had to uh, come up with the ways to do it on his own and learn. And um, he's helped me out a great deal. He's got some great vets that have been his friend. Dr. Funk, um, you know, comes to mind. Dr. Mater. Dr. Mater, who is the most renowned, you know, giant tortoise vet. giant tortoise vet great guy he wrote the book literally on reptile med medicine so okay guys we just did 32 minutes with sam uh, this is amazing man I, I really appreciate it what we're going to do now is we're going to wrap it up but i would like you to go to florida the iguana and tort breeders on instagram okay we'll have a link in the description uh you can also check out their website uh florida dot com florida iguana dot com if you want to learn more uh, if you're interested in one of these beautiful animals, contact Sam. That's what he does. All right, guys, we're going to get moving. I'll leave you with a couple of shots of these guys, but I got to transport precious cargo to my buddy Jerry's house now. We'll see you guys later.